What trucks did they take and use to haul off the contamination that he claims they cleaned up out of the canal by my house? Yep. Sorry, what the trucks did they use? What did they cover the dirt with when they hauled it off? But to clean up the canal. Uh, are you talking about cleaning up the canal? Yes, sir. Now, EPA didn't oversee the cleanup of the canal. That was a uh, job that was done uh, under order by Atlanta Gaslight. Mm -hmm. uh, overseen by okay. State of Georgia. They used way across dump trucks with only half the tarp on it, and that dirt fell that off. That was recent. No, that was not from. This the was in 2001. 2001. Okay. Right after that is when I started reporting it. That's where shortly they started doing it. They hauled it off in dump trucks. Where did they dump it? They dumped it at a municipal landfill. Something. Uh, they, they. Wait a minute. Whoa. Back up a minute. Please excuse me yeah, sure. for my ignorance. Mm -hmm. They dumped it in a landfill. That's correct. What the material? Landfill? I don't remember off the top of my head what landfill they took the waste to. They might have taken it to more than one landfill. I'm not sure. But as part of their, what they had to do is they submitted to the state a corrective action plan. That corrective action plan said what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. Part of the how we're going to do it said what type of trucks we're going to do, we're going right. to put that material in, and where those trucks were going to go. And then they had to give us a completion report that said this much material was, was removed. I think if I remember off the top of my head, it was 274,000 tons of dirt that were excavated out of the canals. Mm -hmm. And they took that dirt where they were supposed to take it in their corrective action plan. They had to document the state that they took it there. Okay. If you want me to get you specifics, again, you can either give me, I have a card here, I'll give you my card. You can call me and I'll talk to the person who's responsible for that site now and we'll get you that information about which landfill went to and what the trucks were. Okay, I got one more question then I got to go because I got to get to my wife. Exactly June 24, 2003, Atlanta Gas sent me a letter. I'm going to read it for you, okay? Part of it. It says, uh, let's see, the plant was decommissioned in 1964 when natural gas reached way possible. By the time certain chemicals, which we refer as impacts, are MG, MGP impacts from manufactured gas process of spread to surrounding soils, including the adjoining canal. Okay? If you sometimes, right after a rain, you know, you, you get different scents in the air, don't open your windows in my neighborhood. Because you will gag. Okay? And that scent is coming from carbon dioxide from cars. It's not coming from um, people cooking or people grilling out. This is a pure stench that you don't open your windows. And it's coming from somewhere, okay? It's either Atlanta Gas, it's either CSX Railroad, but it is causing a problem. And we have, we're asking y'all to find it. It may be something new that's never been detected before, you know? But find out what's going on because I'm tired of seeing my wife go through what she's going through. I mean, if I can bring a picture of my wife. They cut my wife from here to here. And this is the second time around. And my wife was not sick like this until we moved over there on Crawford Street. My wife got out, joked, cut up. We went out. We had good times. But now my wife stays sick and in the hospital. So there's something going on in that neighborhood. And they keep telling me it's just dread. First, Carl, cooking all. Matter of fact, the health department sent a guy in 2001 in my yard. He took the thing at the edge of my door and went like this and pulled it up and went to gag it and he disappeared. I don't even know where he is. They moved him somewhere. He didn't die. He wasn't in the paper. He wasn't in the obituary. But they moved him to keep it quiet because that man got sick. Five, seven months ago, a Wacoff police officer came over to the neighborhood right next to me, a jungle, right next door to me. It's an empty lot now. And he went to gagging so bad because of the smell. Where's the smell coming from? Y'all only come when it's just when it's gone. Y'all only come in that neighborhood when the when the canal's hot or when it's a good clear day. You don't come when the canal's low where you can see it floating down the canal. You don't see that. Y'all wait until after it's gone on down past the after a rain when the canal is so hot that it's just swept right on down. But y'all are not coming there after a hard rain. When you see that blue circle, which y'all claim it's nothing, which stinks so bad that it's pathetic, and y'all claim it's nothing. And I'm tired of seeing my wife sick like this. Matter of fact, I'm on the verge of just, just taking a loss and leaving the entire state of Georgia because of this mess. There's something wrong. 
My neighbor's kids stay in and out of the emergency room because of, uh, of breathing problems. There, there's a man that just died of cancer in my neighborhood. 26-year-old man. So please tell me what's going on because there's something going on. We're not making it up. It's not a figment of our imagination. I mean, my, we lived on State Street. Not once did my wife have a brain tumor. Not once did my wife have any problem except seizures. That's the only problem my wife had. When we moved here, her went away. So there's something going on. Y'all need to find out what's going on. Please, find out what's going on. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful to y'all at all. I'm not. But this is the second time around for my wife. Is my wife going to have to go to a third one, a fourth one, a fifth one before something is done? Y'all tell me. Sir, can, can you take one of my cards and when you smell that next time, you can call me and I can get someone to tell you to come out? Ma'am, I even called the city of White Cross. You know what they did? They waited two days to come out. Well, that's the thing I'm saying. It's like right when you smell it, I can set it up ahead of time and have somebody ready so that when you call, we can get somebody over there and smell the smell. Yeah. I'm glad to take all of y'all. I got, I got four cards from EPA. I got six one, cards from City of White Cross. One, I got two from the health department. We, yeah, we have county level people, and I can get somebody over there, but it's just, you know, right when you're smelling it, give me a call. It's majority when you can, st majority after a hard rain, when they start moving those engines, them cars in the railroad around, is when you start smelling it. During the day or at night? It's mostly at night when they start moving them. But I know my wife was not sick until we moved where we're at. There's something wrong. And y'all need, we're, we're, we're depending on y'all to find it. Like I said, it may be something new, but it's got to be found. It's got to be took care of. Thank you for your time. Okay, we got it.